Okay, for today's walking and talking, I'm at Shorewood High School. So this is the land where my high school is. It's still Shorewood High School, like the name and institution. However, the buildings I attended, the track and field I used and that kind of stuff, all stripped down, all new buildings and stuff. Except for there's one building that's left, but this was not actually part of the school before. So this building used to be the Shoreline Historical Museum or Shoreline Heritage Museum. Uh, and they have since converted it into part of the school. And here's the current building. It was not this. So this is the current Shorewood High School building. When I attended, well, we didn't have stairs here, <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, we, it was a one-story building uh, laid out kind of around and now it's a multi-story close together buildings so it's kind of not at all the same in that way and it was like a it was like a blue buildings and stuff now it's you know fancy brick makes it look older even though it's actually a lot younger or kind of big I think I don't know if we had I think we might have actually had the original buildings so the people who attend here now don't get the original Shorewood buildings, I think we actually did. Um, so in that sense, we were lucky. <laughs> we wanted the, the original experience of the original students. But I don't know. I, there's poppy, uh, Shorewood was built in Shorecrest High School. Or built um, after increasing population in Shoreline High School, which I already talked about at the Shorewood or not sure, Shoreline Stadium walking and talking. So now, so this, the buildings actually, this used to be the track and field. So these buildings have now occupied what used to be the track and field-ish. And the buildings used to be over here, which makes sense from like an architectural construction kind of point of view, it makes sense. Right? The buildings were over here and the track and field was over here. So they started working on, on building the buildings while the other school still existed so people could still be on campus. <laughs> it makes sense. <laughs> so I can't actually... The ground on which I ran is underneath these buildings. Right. Um, so I, I, I was actually, when I heard they were doing that, I was like, that's kind of clever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and now the track and field is actually where the gymnasium used to be. And I'm showing you this, this is part of my running history. So I ran track and field and we practiced at the school. <laughs> we practiced approximately here <laughs> where I'm walking, which is no longer looks like that whatsoever. Uh, the baseball field is about the same, actually. So there's something that's, if there's anything that's similar. The baseball fields over that way. Yes, so this did not exist. We had, so when we had practice at Shore High School, we had a dirt track. There were no marked lanes. There were no, this is how far you've run. It was dirt and it was grass, which the birds loved and the animals loved. But I don't, like Seattle, considers it, and King County considers itself a very green entity, like it likes nature, but like, you know, take the grass away, take the critters food away, and uh, I personally like birds. Kind of comes across as animal hate. Putting turf in, astroturf, springy surface. Like if one actually likes nature, the dirt track is better for nature. Let's see. So it is open the rest of the time. So we're not here on a school day. So it's okay that we're doing this. Yeah, so this used to be the gymnasium. And like, uh, yeah. And the locker rooms and stuff like that weird <laughs> it's interesting not having the same school right having like literally the only thing being 
that Shoreline Historical Museum building is now part of the school. And even that got, it's not the same, they like connected it to the building. So even that's not the same. Like there's sometimes where, like at Einstein Middle School, maybe I'll go back because that was actually the Einstein Middle School field. Um, I used to walk around that at lunch and then we used the Einstein field up through soccer um, practice we did there, even in, when we were in high school. Because Shorewood High School was a bit further away. Einstein Middle School we chose because it was closer to where we all lived. So this was further. So it's open. First time I am stepping foot on the track. I did not run on this. We did not have anything so plush when I ran for Shorewood. They really vamped it up. Yeah. I liked the old stuff though. I, I trip. The only time I've tripped in track and field is on this kind of a surface. So if falling and smacking one's head or I, what happened with me, I kind of abraded my knee. Um, which is like I got red and puffy, you know? I didn't skin it, but uh, yeah. The only time I've run in track and field is on this kind of a surface. I, didn't ha I haven't had that problem on concrete. I haven't had that problem on dirt. Right. It's like occupational hazard if one's a runner. This track, from my life experience, is worse and more injury inducing than just good old dirt or concrete. It wasn't this one, it was Shoreline Stadium, but we'll turn around and go back. And then it's turf. Yeah, you so see you guys get explore with me. This is new. Although I guess I should end the exploring. Is there anything else? No, so we, we would run here. Uh, we ran, I ran here for health and like physical education classes too. I took a strength and conditioning or it, no, advanced strength and fitness, which had like 30 people in it and four girls, and we did the weight room, so the weight room was also over here. It's not anymore. I don't even, yeah. It's a very different school now. Literally. Possible on the outside. I don't know about on the inside. But yeah, so there's a little bit about history here. Most school stuff, classes and running, uh, but not so much soccer, which was kind of interesting. Happy walking and talking. Happy Wednesday, 20 July, 2023.